Saskatoon cab driver is back on the road this week. He had been suspended after a video went viral showing him swinging a snow brush at a customer. Are you nuts? Are you nuts? You maybe saw that video right here on CBC News yes. Network. It was the tail end of a heated exchange, obviously. But we never knew how this started or why until now. The cab company has released its own video, and Michael's going to take us through that. It tells a very different story, Michael. It really gives some context to this. And you know, really interesting here, Heather, because when that video was first posted onto Facebook, it was viewed tens of thousands of times. It was shared tens of thousands of times. A lot of people questioning the driver seen inside that incident. But now, you know, people are asking, should anyone really be jumping to conclusions? And that's because, as you say, Comfort Cabs in Saskatoon, the company that employs the driver, they released their own video yesterday and you're looking at it right now and it adds background to the confrontation that was seen in the video posted on Monday night. Now the company says their video clearly shows the passenger was being rude from the start, provocative throughout the ride. Take a look at a part of the video that was released by Go Comfort left. Cabs. Go left. Go left. Holy man. That, that is Are you from Saskatoon? I am. Oh, okay, so you don't know the city or what? Where are you from? Then let me go like you know. Maybe you should go back. You should go back. You get up from the from my car. Get up from my car. And she refused to get out of the car. And after that confrontation, the cab, this is what then followed. The video posted by the passenger on social media in which the cab driver says he should kick her behind and swinging the snow brush. The passenger saying, are you out of your mind? Now, the company, we have to say, says this incident should have never happened. But they also argue their driver was pushed to the breaking point by that passenger, Heather. And so the company coming out with this video to defend its driver. But what else led them to uh, release this? Well, essentially, they are standing up for all their drivers because they say the kind of behavior that the driver in the video had to put up with is unacceptable. They don't condone the eventual breakdown, but it only came, they say, after he followed the procedure and was polite through the ride. Again, that is their words, not mine. And for the company, bottom line, while they expect their drivers to be professional, they also don't think drivers deserve to be berated. Take a listen to a manager from Comfort Cabs. We started to review the video and right away I knew that, uh, you know, we, we, it was time to, to stand up to our drivers or stand up for our drivers, sorry, and, um, you know, make this public and, and make people realize that what was posted on Facebook, um, that there was a lot of um, other information in the background that they needed to see. So again, a lot of people now uh, rethinking their initial judgments out of the first video. We should point out that the driver has been an employee with Comfort Caps for a number of years. He, as you noted, back on the road as of last night. Uh, CBC News has reached out to the woman who originally posted the first video. She's not responded to a few calls so far, Heather. Now you have the full story. Michael, thank you very much.